Your Texas Sports Hall of Fame staff keeps the museum running. As Cooper just mentioned, kudos to Cooper, to Jay Black, Krista Martin, and we believe in naming names. Paige Davis, William Halliburton, Blaine Listash, Chase Hill, and Bonnie Fueling. We appreciate every single one of you. And now the time has arrived for us to officially induct eight true legends into the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. And just so you know, I uh, told Jason Witten as, as we were getting ready to come in here, the bad news for you, big boy, is we do this alphabetically. So limit the iced tea is what I'm saying for right now. Our first inductee is a woman who epitomizes the class and character of a Texas Sports Hall of Fame inductee. Please watch the video screens as we learn more about one of the greatest tennis players in history. Maureen Conley Brinker, or Little Mo, as she was affectionately known to tennis fans all over the world, won nine Grand Slam singles titles in the 1950s. In 1951, at age 16, Maureen became the youngest player to win the Women's U.S. Open title. In 1952, she successfully defended her U.S. title while also taking the crown at Wimbledon. Then in 1953, she won 14 titles, including all four majors, becoming the first woman to win tennis's coveted Grand Slam. Shortly after winning her third straight Wimbledon title in 1954, she suffered a career-ending injury in a horseback riding accident. In 1955, Maureen settled in Dallas after marrying Norman Brinker, her love of tennis never wavered, and in 1968, with longtime friend Nancy Jeffett, she founded the Maureen Conley Brinker Tennis Foundation to promote junior tennis. Her many honors include being named the Associated Press Female Athlete of the Year three times and joining the International Tennis Hall of Fame in 1968. Sadly, she passed away from cancer in 1969 at the age of 34. Little Mo's amazing career still shines bright, now joining some of the greatest athletes in history as a member of the Texas Sports Hall of Fame. Accepting on behalf of Maureen Connolly Brinker, her daughter, Cindy Brinker. Well, greetings. Oh, my friends, my friends. What a joy it is to represent the Brinker family tonight in accepting this award on behalf of my beloved mother, Maureen Conley Brinker. She would be thrilled, absolutely thrilled, to receive this special honor. And I want to express my heartfelt gratitude to the Texas Sports Hall of Fame Selection Committee and also acknowledge the other outstanding six recipients who have impacted the world of sports in enormous ways with their amazing talents. Congratulations, congratulations. Sharing with me this lovely tribute to mom and the most important influence that she played in the sport of tennis is my sister, Brenda Brinker Bottom, and my son, William. Well, my friends, sports history has recorded mom's stunning accomplishments on the tennis courts. It is awe-inspiring that in her last 12 months of competitive play, mom never lost a tennis match. And she won all nine Grand Slam tournaments in which she competed over four years, propelling her to the number one ranking in the world in 1952, 53, and 54. Now, just to let you know, the Grand Slam in tennis is winning the Australian, French, Wimbledon, and the United, the U.S. Open. Those are the Grand Slam uh, tournaments. But sadly, as the video said, a horseback riding accident abruptly ended her career at age 19 on July 1954. But despite her many successes on the tennis court, our family is most proud 
to say that mom was a remarkable woman who just happened to be a very good tennis player. <laughs> what made little Mo, nicknamed after the powerful battleship USS Missouri, a champion on and off the tennis court? First, she pursued excellence. She believed that if you were gonna be the best at something, you had to practice hard and not cut corners. Immediately after she won the US Open in 1951 at the age of 16, at that time being the youngest player ever to do so, she could not be found when the organizers were about to make a courtside trophy presentation. The organizers panicked and they looked all over the tennis, they looked everywhere within that clubhouse, but there was no little Mo in sight. They scoured the courts and on the most secluded back court, there was my mom hitting overheads because she felt that her overheads had not been up to her standard of excellence in that championship match. And that's the way it was with mom. She never stopped desiring to improve. One time I asked her, mommy, when you were number one in the world, did you stop taking tennis lessons? And she told me that she continued to take tennis lessons because she always wanted to learn to improve and to grow. You see, she just burned inside with a desire to excel. Despite being the third most publicized woman in the world in the early 1950s, as well as the first and still only the American woman to win the Grand Slam in tennis, mom was so quietly humble, it took your breath away. Sadly, cancer was the only opponent that she could not defeat and she courageously competed against it until she succumbed to that at age 34. Dad, Brenda, and I labored about what to put on her tombstone. I mean, how do you characterize someone so uniquely talented, so globally respected, and so deeply loved? So we decided on the following words. Maureen Conley Brinker, a gallant lady, wife, mother, champion. You see, I think she would be so excited that that's the way we saw her. Her devotion to my dad and her love for her two daughters is what fed her soul and what propelled her in life. Her distinction as a tennis champion took a very distant third place on her priority list. Finally, mom had a deep compassion and desire to the invest in the lives of others. She was other focused, not self focused. She wanted to give back to the game and the sport of tennis that had blessed her life with so much joy, so much opportunity, and so many great personal relationships. She mentored aspiring tennis players, she taught clinics to the underprivileged, and she coached promising junior players. In 1968, she co-founded the Maureen Conley Brinker Tennis Foundation to help further and develop junior tennis. Last year, we celebrated our 50th anniversary, which has grown to, of the foundation, and our foundation has grown to be one of the largest private junior tennis foundations in the world. It gives travel grants to talented young champions, it hosts national and international junior tournaments, and emphasizes the importance of good sportsmanship, fair play, integrity, kindness, and strong character values. While mom's dominance on the tennis court was dazzling, more importantly, her family, friends, and fans marveled at her humility, compassion, faith, courage, grace, resilience, and excellence. She brought honor to her family and to the sport of tennis, and just a little fun side note, next month, on, up, on April 23rd, the United States Postal Service is issuing nationwide a Little Mo commemorative forever stamp. So if you need any more stamps, please go to your post office and buy some on April 23rd. Is that cool or what? <laughs> so again, the Brinker family expresses its heartfelt gratitude to the Texas Sports Hall of Fame for this spectacular recognition. Many thanks and God bless. Thank you. Thank you.
Thank you, Cindy.